because I was um doing I was uploading um my other video I just did earlier, which was um a open letter to black people. Pay attention. Um, I said, let me go ahead and start looking and start doing some research on some more stuff and like that. And yesterday, I caught uh, Cynthia G's video on this on a, about the high death rate among women, and you know, in particular, but it's mostly like particular with white women. And and this what led me right here to Mother Jones' site, right here, you know. Um. And this this is an actual fact, you know. As you can see right there, you know that more more American white women are dying prematurely. You know, as the Supreme Court considers the fate of Obamacare, the new data shows that death rate among white women are on the rise. Sure. Well, as Tory Rain would put it, and as I put it, you know, you could probably think like the opioid epidemic too, and. And a lot of things like with um, white baby, uh, white baby births, uh, 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 births are at a decline as well. You know, I didn't exactly. I just clicked on to it, so I really didn't read the the whole thing. But but I did glance over it, and one thing that does show. Oh, there's the map right there. You know, I'm gonna get to the map, but one paragraph that did that sh that did show something. Now here's the chart right here, uh, when it got the trends and death rates for non-Hispanic white women, ages 15 to 54, 1999-2011. You know, cardiovascular disease is like uh, other diseases, neoplasm of digestive and respiratory systems, liver and pancreas, suicide. Um, lowest but climbing up like diabetes, anemia, nutritional disorders, accidental poisoning. Well, that kind of spiked up there with cardiovascular disease. But the highest is like all other neoplasm and 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 malignant disease. You know, transport accidents. You know, homicide. Yeah. But here's the thing that that's the data of, that's coming from. Um, I forgot where that's coming from. Because here's something that's that's really interesting. That's from the Urban Institute researchers. Urban Institute researchers attribute. Well, I'm gonna put the link in the description. I'll just read a couple of paragraphs. The Urban Institute researchers attribute the rise in U.S. deaths among white women to a number of factors. The largest is the sharp spike in overdose deaths from prescription painkillers like oxycontin which jumped from 3.3 to 15.9 percent death per 100,000 between 1999 and 2011 an increase of a factor of five but even without the spike in drug overdoses white women's deaths raise uh, rate death rates are rising see oxycontin uh, oxycontin cotton that's what's used to make heroin you know and a painkiller like that ain't no joke now it's deaths from car accidents breast cancer murdered and murder have declined women have died in higher numbers from more pedestrian health care problems such as the flu and respiratory infections as well as chronic illness linked to obesity such as diabetes, Jason would not need to take a look at that, uh, kidney disease, complication of high blood pressure and heart disease. Well, it's an old saying my mama used to say, you are what you eat, you know, which is like, you know, that, that could eat to a lot of these sugary snacks and all this other stuff like that, you know, cut down on that crap, you know, Mars candies, things like that. But see, but it's only white women, though. And you've seen the chart. Now, the data does show some improvements, but namely among African-American women who have long had sky-high death rates. Remember that? Their death rates, particularly from cardiovascular disease, that's gone down significantly. 
overall death rates for black women fell from 262 to 201 per 100,000. That's a nearly 25% decrease. Now those numbers are better, but still far higher than the rates for either white or Hispanic women. Now the increase in death rates among white women suggests that the economic factors that have long affected their black counterparts are now hitting white communities hard and there's no easy fix. And I just said that. You know, the Urban Institute author says they're focusing on individual behaviors like trying to get people to lose weight are likely to succeed without a broader focus on improving the systemic uh, factors like poverty, isolation that led to unhealthy behavior like smoking and poor diet. Now that's from the Urban Institute. But the thing is about it, you know, a lot of the things uh, uh, contribute to that. You know, the heroin and opioid epidemic is also a lot of cause of that too. Um, and as well as a lot of the, the diseases as you can see right there though. But I'm just gonna go ahead and, and keep this short. This, this is the reason why, why as you see now, that you got more, more these white women that get out here and they be trying to go ahead and throw themselves, if not chase, after non-white men or whatever. And it's the same, no different than it is with white men as well. Who try to get out here and want to try to, quote unquote, want to try to pursue black women just to see them as pieces of meat or at a conquest or whatever like that. So they could put a quote unquote feather in their cap. You know, because plain and simple, um, in their DNA, in their DNA, and that, you know, white people don't have like an immune system to fight that, fight it off. You know, the one thing that they want so bad, as the movie Get Out had explained, you know, black is what's in. Because remember what I told y'all about that about that that white chick from Germany, from American who stayed over in Germany. She injected herself with melanin and made herself look black. Let me see if I can find that, cause that shit was crazy. This is what they doing now. You know, that shit is crazy as fuck. This was her, and now this is her now. And as you can see, they're not the only ones. Here you got a 40 some year old uh, white male in, from Australia who injected himself with that. See, this this is also the melanin epidemic because see, they trying to get the immune system and they still wonder why, why we can tolerate, we can absorb the rays of the sun, why we can do all this other stuff. You know, I see, you see it here like on Miami Beach all the time, you know. You know, white people out here desperately doing everything from tanning themselves naturally and, you know, going to tanning booths and all that stuff. You know, obviously they got that visit, you know, um, from anywhere else. Here you got, here, here's one right here. This was a white guy, you could tell. And he injected himself with melanin for 90 days. This is the sick mind of a Caucasian man. And see, they doing that just so they don't end up like this. And I'm going to show y'all something else. Let me show y'all something else. 
here's the chart of where it's at. Now, according to the legends, the substantial improvement, I'm assuming that would be because, see, and it goes right down to the Obamacare. If, if 45 and his and his goons want to go ahead and repeal Obamacare, this will continue to happen. You know, because look at the red, where it's worsening at. All the red, the ones that's in the red, is worsening right there. And now you look at my home state of Florida. This is like around in Fort Walton Beach and around Tallahassee, up in northern Florida, central Florida, and even little pockets of South Florida. But now you look at places like, say, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, and Mississippi. Well, Tennessee especially. Look at Tennessee. Good grief. Then you got here, Louisiana. Then it, that's I think that's Arkansas, Oklahoma, one of them two. They're worsening right there. But here, like Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, all worsening there. Even up some of the northern st states like Wyoming, all over through there. Now the blue is just substantial improvement. And the and the aqua that's like minimal improvement. But in states like most of the southern states, large parts of Tennessee, West Virginia, whoo, they get it. But I'll leave a link in the description for y'all on this. But, you know, like I say, I don't feel nothing as far as I'm concerned because guess what? A lot of these white women are also the ones responsible for breeding these Caucasian terrorists, breeding these Dylan Roots, breeding the Timothy McVeighs, breeding the Richard Spencers, the David Dukes, breeding the Brian and Cena's, breeding uh, the Daniel Pantanalos, breeding the Michael Dunn's, breeding the Darren Wilson's, breeding those types. That's, that are committing terrorist acts against indigenous peoples here in the Americas and abroad. And as well as also other indigenous life forms. You know about the video that Tari Rain showed that's been circling around about, you know, a couple of white women running for their lives in the a, in a, in a Serengeti somewhere in Africa. And we wondered what the hell was chasing them. And it turned out to be a pissed off bull giraffe. A giraffe. What the hell did they do to piss off a giraffe? Because like you learn from them. Learn from um from our um animal counterparts, man. Learn learn from them who we coexist and live well with. They don't even like these Caucasoid terrorists. Because they know that they ain't shit. But like I said, I don't feel bad about this. I don't feel bad. Because they got so much stuff going against them. Oh, let me put out the most obvious one. White on white crime. Yeah. that's a, it's, And it's like seven more others that's leading to the decline of, of white people. This is why I constantly and I always say, you know... Let, let nature take its course, you know. My, my people, y'all got to understand. Don't be getting all upset and get caught up in your emotions about 45 being in, in office and all that. We got bigger things we got to worry about, you know. This is nature taking its course. Because they done messed this world up so many times. Too many times. And this is nature passing judgment on them. And it continues to do so. But let me know what y'all think about it in the comment sections. I like to hear y'all opinions or y'all facts or something that I may have missed out or whatever. I'll leave the link down in the description for y'all to go ahead and read this. And I'll be back uh, 